Okay, it's got a nice, nice front porch. It might be high enough that they require a rail. That's going to be a VA inspector call uh, on that side. Um, so we're going in the front door. Uh, they've taken out this section of the wall, which really helped the house. Um, kitchen's not bad. Tile doesn't look too bad. Not sure where the light switches are now, but I'll find them in a minute, I'm sure. Um, here's the kitchen. It's got a little short bar. It's got the cabinet above. Somebody's redone the redone the kitchen. It looks looks pretty good. Appliances look good. Uh, pretty solid little house. Looks like they had a washer dryer hookup out here. Looks like they bought a new dryer because the one they had here apparently bit the dust. There's a little homemade bar, so I think they probably use this more to hang out in than anything. Got a little place to open your beer. Uh, looks pretty clean. A um, little bit of, you know, cracks and stuff in the paint in the garage, which is very common due to temperature variations. Um, so far, so good. Good looking house. Uh, there we go. Now we got some light in here. So here's the here's the kitchen. I don't know what you call those cabinets, what color they are, but they actually are pretty cute. What they did to them. Um, so there's the there's the kitchen. Spin back around and show you. I'm standing in the corner against the garage door now. Opens up into a dining space. I actually just sold a house that had this exact same floor plan. Um, it's got a nice living room space. Up oh, there we go. Now we got lights. This is pretty good size. It's a wood burning fireplace. That would have to be inspected by the VA, or they would require us to have it inspected. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while. Here's the back door. Blinds are in place. Back door looks, the back area looks really solid. Um, looks like the dryer vents out kind of odd right here. That might be something you want to change or fix. Um, back screen door really needs to be replaced, but nothing major. The house all in all, the floors look good. Uh, looks like it's got a new vinyl plank in here there's some some gapping but i don't know if that's i don't know if that is uh a beveled edge and it's supposed to be that way or not it's hard to tell on this vinyl plank so i'm walking down the hall which is left of the front door so here's the front door kitchen living room and then left to the hallway uh bath number one that's not a bad Bad bathroom at all. Bedroom number one or guest bedroom. This is not very big. I would call it a maybe a 10 by 10. Big enough for a single bed, but that's about twin, but that's about it. Um, have some st storage in the, in the hallway, which is kind of neat. A little linen closet. Looks like your AC handling unit is in here. There it is. I'll walk on down the hall to the master. It's a decent size. Not bad. Uh, not a lot of closet, but, but enough. And actually the master bath is not bad. So, um, decent house, plenty of cabinet space, stand up shower combo. Um, Cabinets are, are in decent shape. There's a few little nicks and dings, but all in all, this is, looks to be, be the best, probably one of the best condition homes we've looked at. Um, and then here's the, the last bedroom. It as well is not probably maybe a 10 by 10 with a double closet. So, I mean, it's not a bad house at all. I mean, it would be something I would live in. Area's good. It's very convenient to, to where you work. So um, if it meets your needs, now the backyard's huge. So you could do whatever back there as far as storage and those kind of things go. Yards flat. Um, all in all, a good house.